Hey Mimos, I guess by now you've probably heard about Peak Beard. <laughs> There's been articles all over the internet this week describing how this trend in men wearing beards has reached its peak and it's going to be on its way out now. But I'd like to remind you all who the original hipster was. And he was a woodworker. He had a beard, he wore the glasses, and he even wore plaid flannel shirts. <laughs> Norm Abram, the original hipster. Hey everybody, did you have a good week? Did you enjoy the writing desk video yesterday? I had a lot of fun making that and I'm really glad I did it. About 10 years ago, I needed some extra space in my office so and I needed a file cabinet. So we got these two huge file cabinets, way too big, and I put a board over the top of them. And that was my temporary solution for a desk. And well, here it is 10 years later. Well, I guess that's temporary. It wasn't permanent. It wasn't until the end of time. Since I now have that new desk up there and everything looks so clean and organized, I've been throwing away just piles and piles of junk that's been accumulating over the years. So now my whole office is in transformation and it's a mess right there. It's one thing always leads to another. The maple I used on that project, I mentioned it earlier in the week, was I got it at Home Depot and it was cheaper than the regular pine plywood. The only thing is is it didn't have as many plies in it so I don't think it was a very good plywood and the the veneer of maple on the top is just micro thin I mean if you have anything that you need to sand kind of forget about it because you'll just end up sanding right through it but I, it's sometimes it's hard to find good plywood hey I want to thank Fabian all the way from Germany he sent me these look even has the German flag on the back. <laughs> These are scroll saw blades because he saw my recent video where I used the scroll saw and I tend to use those spiral blades and I do have problems with those, but they're, they're handy because you can go any direction in them. But the problem is it's hard to get a nice straight cut. They want to do, yeah. he took pity on me. And Fabian sent me a whole bunch of dice flat style scroll saw blades. So I'll be using these in an upcoming project. Got a number five blades and number three blades. I'm not really sure what they are, but they're Schnell Schnitt, Schnell Schnitt, Schnell Schnitt, Schnell Schnitt Sagen, Schnell Schnitt Sagen, Schnell Schnitt Sagen. <laughs> I love German words because they're this long. The past couple of weeks, I've been seeing a rise in people complaining about negative comments on YouTube. And maybe there's just a lot more people posting negative comments. I'm not really sure. But I have some suggestions that might help if you post videos and uh, you get those negative comments. Because you will get those negative comments. And uh, first of all, everybody always says don't feed the trolls. Don't respond to them. And that is good advice. I used to get really worked up over them and I would fire off some angry response. And that's the, the worst thing to do now, especially with YouTube's new comment system because whenever you comment on one of your own videos, it raises it to the status of top comments so that people are most likely to see that. Whereas if you just don't comment on one of those negative comments, it just goes down in the list and nobody will ever see it again. Also, for brand new YouTubers, there seems to be like a, a, a hazing period or something. It's real ugly where when you're new to YouTube, you, you tend to draw a lot of these negative comments. My theory is the best way to deal with negative comments is to build a community around your channel. If you have a community built around your channel, if somebody jumps in with a negative comment, quite often other users <laughs> <laughs> we'll take care of that guy for you. So you don't really need to do it. It's kind of like you having a club and then somebody just comes in out of nowhere and says, this is stupid. <laughs> everybody's gonna, everybody's gonna take care of that guy themselves. Another thing is don't worry too much about the thumbs up, thumbs down, like, dislike things on YouTube because it's funny how much importance we put on a dislike. I can have, and I do the same thing. I can have a thousand likes on a video and there's seven thumbs down and I think, what, what, what did I do wrong? Why don't you like me? <laughs> when it's, it's an insignificant amount. YouTube used to have a rating system. You would rate a video from one to five, but what they were discovering is that most people just rated it either one or five. Very few people took the time to say, hmm, well, 
well, I sort of like did it, I sort of did it, I'm gonna give it a three. Mostly I just want to encourage everybody who is posting videos to not let yourself get discouraged by negative comments. They will happen. It's easy to say, just ignore it, but in practice it's hard because that one comment can just kind of eat at you and you, you can't let it do that. It does help with YouTube's new commenting system because it's less anonymous than it used to be. And again, as long as you can develop a, a base of people surrounding you, a community, that will help a lot too. So just, just keep at it and don't get discouraged. Somebody told me this sign disappeared last week. Be sure and watch the other channel on Thursday. I've got a special video coming out where it's for safety day, May 1st, I think. It might be safety week, I don't remember. But uh, I think it starts on May 1st. So I've got a special safety day video when you can win actual, actual factual prizes. <laughs> so tune in for that. Thanks for watching everybody. I gotta try to straighten out my office some more. It's a mess.